All completed. I'm sorry, I got caught off in the middle. Oh, what are you just giving your life to Christ? Make sure that God is prioritized in your life. Make sure that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know. When you leave this word, heaven will smile upon you. Because the Bible did say that when we leave this word, there will be no more crying. Jesus said, I've gone to prepare a place for you, mansion for you. And when I'm done, I'm coming back. That's when the second resurrection is going to take place. And everyone that have perished from us will rise up. The seed, the spirit of God that is inside of us will allow our spirit to rise up. For the second coming of Jesus Christ. So beloved. When you leave this world. You are just exiting to another dimension. Let me encourage those. That cries a lot. I know you're going to miss the person. You're not going to see them for a very long time. Until you perish actually. Until you expire. Then when you go to heaven. You will see them or wherever it is. That you have promised for your life to go. But. All in all, have you given your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Have you received salvation in your heart? Have you denounced the works of the devil out of your life? Have you said to God, God, I want to serve you. And because I want to serve you, everything that is not like unto you, oh God, I denounced it out of my life and I run to you. I run to the master. Because let me tell you something. You can live a life on this life forever and you can act every other way that you want to behave and you can have all these crazy attitudes. But at the end of the day, beloved, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your person, personal savior you are going to bust hell wide open just like the rich man and the poor man when the poor man was on earth working in the rich man vineyard he said to the rich man oh my god can you just give me a little bit of crumb off your table i just want a little bit of crumb off the table and the rich man said to him oh get out of my face who are you who are you? Never underestimate a person. Never underestimate things that God will send into your life because it may just be the very thing that you need to catapult your life to the next dimension. He did not want to look at this poor guy. And when he died, when the rich man died, guess where he made it to? Hell, H-E-L-L, -L, hell. He bust hell wide open. And, he, and Jesus, and then he asked Abraham, Oh, Father Abraham, please, is there any way I can go back to tell my brothers, my siblings, that they should give their life to Christ? Because where I'm at, I'm burning. I'm suffering. There is suffer. You ain't suffer on earth. <laughs> Get in hell and you will see what it means to suffer. Hell on earth is already great. You don't want to go to hell. So my question to you this morning, don't wait till it's too late. Love unconditionally. Let the love of God saturate your heart so that you are able to love the unloved. You know there are those in your life that you just sometimes can love, but God will give you the ability to love, to love them. Why? Because you are a servant of a most high God. You're not serving a God that does not walk. You're not serving Muhammad. You're not serving an atheist. You're not serving any kind of God. You are serving the God of Abraham, the God of Joshua, the God of Isaac. This is the God of Moses. The, the I am that I am. He's the promise keeper. He's a way maker. He's the God that will do every and anything. He's a terrible God. He's a God of a consuming fire. That's why we don't play. We don't play. We don't play. When it comes to knowing Christ, you got to put your all into it. Today, they are burying my uncle. But guess what? Because he has lived a life that has been honorable to God. That soul of his, when he passed, the soul exited his body. Meaning breath. The breath that God, the Ruach, the breath that God breathed into him. It left. That soul left and went to the kingdom of heaven where it belongs 
Now the Bible says in the book of Revelation, when the when absent from in the book of Philippians, excuse me, absent from the body is what? Present with God. So when the spirit, when your soul leaves you, it's just a shell. This is all that's carrying us. It's the shell. This thing that we think is so precious. This thing that we, this mouth that we have, that we cut speech from people. This mouth that we have, that, 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 that disrespect people. This mouth right here, it's a dangerous thing. The Bible said there's life and death in the tongue. Use your mouth to better yourself and to better the, the, the community at large. Stop using your mouth for negativity because whatever you speak, on other people, guess what? It's going to come right back on you. It's called karma. Today they are burying my uncle. The reason why I'm not crying because I know he's in a better place. And I know he doesn't have to suffer anymore in Africa. He does not have to cry no more. He does not have to suffer, neither does he have to cry anymore. He's free from this life of intimidation. He's free from this life of sorrow. The Bible said in the book of Revelation, there will be no more sorrows, no more tears. It will just be a beautiful thing. So I worship God this morning for a life well lived, a soul that lived his life continuously in the face of God. I praise God this morning. Hallelujah. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Perfect peace. Away from the things of this world. We that are living are the ones that are supposed to worry now. We are the ones that are supposed to be, be about our father's business, about God's business. Change your life. Ask God to give you a turnaround in your life. Ask God to give you a peace that surpasses all understanding in your life. Ask God to have mercy upon you in your life. He wants to come in. You see, these are the tricks of the enemy to take people away. And, 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 and then most people, you see them crying. But when this person was alive, when they ask you for one thing, you didn't even try to help. Now you are crying all over the place. But we know, we as children and devoted daughters of God, we know that when you exit this world, you are in a different place. It's just the body. So I just want to encourage someone this morning. And I want to give you the question. When you die and leave this world, do you know where you're going to spend eternity? If you don't know, please this morning I ask of you, give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. Denounce every negativity out of your life. Denounce every works of darkness out of your life. Denounce everything that will hinder you from, from, going to the, to, to, from doing the will of God in your life. And give Jesus a chance in your life. So that death does not come to all people alone these days. It's coming to the young. It's coming to whoever it can see. But when you are ready and ready in Christ when your soul is, is, is says yes to God, when your soul has said yes to his will and yes to him, nothing worries you. Hallelujah. So this morning, I just want to comfort hearts all around the world that knew my uncle. I want to comfort the hearts. My family, my aunt, all of them. Let your heart be at ease this morning because Uncle Franklin is in a better place. Uncle Franklin does, have, does not have to worry anymore. He does not have to. He done his job. Ah, the Paul said, I've, I've done my work correctly now. I fought the good fight of faith. Now I am done. He fought the good fight of faith. Now he's gone to his resting place. Let him rest in perfect peace. You that are living, get your life together. Love more. Laugh more. Enjoy the peace that God has given you. Read your Bible. Give your life to Christ. Go out into street ministry. Ask people if they know God. Let them come out of darkness. Let them be delivered out of the dark world. Let them be delivered out of the dark world. And let Jesus enter their lives. Let them give their life to Jesus. Confess your sin. Confess all of your sin to God. And give him your soul. And thou shalt be saved. Look, this morning may God bless you. May God carry you. There's a lot of heavy hearts. I can feel it. I can feel it. But God wants you to be at ease. Because he's carrying you. And he knows you. And he loves you. And because he knows you and loves you, he said, be still and know that I am God. 
And remember this one thing. Paul said, he said this word that was so profound. To be absent from the body is to be present with God. To live is for Christ. That's what my uncle did. To live is to give your whole self to God. To die, you have gained because you've gone to the next level. You gain because you're not worried about the things of this world anymore. So I, I bless God that our life well celebrated and live is now resting in the hands of Jehovah himself. May God bless you all. May heaven smile upon you continuously. May the life that you live on this earth speak for you. God bless you. This is Pastor Life again, all the way from Providence, Rhode Island. You guys know how I do. I be trying to drive to work at the same time, making my videos. That's why I do as the Lord leads. Don't care about what people are going to say. If you mind the talk in the market, you marketplace, you will never go shop. You got to just go. Oh, child of God, in order for you to gain God in this world, in order for you to gain the, the benefits of Jesus Christ, in order for you to gain things that God has installed for you, let me tell in, in, install for you, you have to go through the fire. The fire is not, it's not, it's not that God hit you. The fire is for you to know that God is pro you the fire is for you to know that God is stripping things out of you that he does not want to be in you the fire is preparing you for a greater place the fire is where you go that God will do the greater work inside of you and at the end of the day you can say thank you Jesus I got peace of mind I got Jesus in my life live your life I don't care what people call you they can call you fake they call Jesus all kind of names. They spit on Jesus. They put the crown of thorn on him. Who am I? Talk about me if you want. But I know who I am. And this is what I want you to know, beloved. Children of the Most High God. That are afraid for people to talk about you. Let me tell you. Once you put your hands in the plow, they're going to talk about you. And the thing is, you can't remove your hands out of the plow anymore. Because now you have tasted and seen how good Jesus is. So you cannot remove your hands out of the plow. You see what I'm saying? You can't. You cannot remove your hands out of the plow. When you put your hands in Jesus, in the work of God, you cannot have it removed at all. You can't. You got to keep serving him. You got to keep worshiping him. You got to keep doing what he wants you to do for him. So don't worry about people talking about you. That's the last thing on my mind. Thank God he has delivered me from thinking about people talking about me. I don't care. What I care about is doing the world and the work of Christ. So when I exit this world, when I get 100 years old, when I exit this world, after doing my father's work, Jehovah work, my soul will go to heaven. God bless you all. Be, be blessed in Jesus' name. Please, if you are looking at this video and you are not saved, give your life to Christ, please. Confess your sins to him and give your life to him. This is not a shameful thing. This is a thing that is very imperative for a child of God. Give your life to Christ. Listen, subscribe, comment, share. Subscribe, comment, share. That's all I have for you for today. God bless you. God bless all of you that are mourning the death of our uncle Franklin. May the Lord bless you. May he shower blessings upon you. May he comfort the hearts of the family members. May he walk through each and every one of us and, and make amends with us in the name of Jesus. I love you all. God bless you. This is Pastor Life again from Providence, Rhode Island. God bless you.